Hey, Mark Tacna here, and welcome to my channel, The Media Nerd. Hooray! Today's video, I'm going to show you the basic setup and the operations of the Wolverine Pro 8mm film digitizer. Wow. Let's get started. Okay, here we are at the Wolverine Pro. Ooh. The first thing I want to do is show you the back. The back has a USB port. This is if you want to capture the Wolverine footage right into your computer. And right beside it is the TV out. It's an eighth inch and it goes to an RCA in. You can plug that right into your TV. That's what I do. And then it gives you the nice picture. This is your power cord. I'm not going to plug it. And here's your SD card. Whenever you pull out your SD card, it automatically shuts off the Wolverine. The Wolverine only takes up to 32 gigabyte card. For this particular model, maybe newer models, it'll give you a larger card. This is your power button right here to the left. Turn that on. Flip the switch. This is where you put the film in. Now you have two different types of film. You have eight millimeter. So you want to keep it on the switch here for eight millimeter and you have super eight millimeter film. It's moves the sled back and forth, depending on what film you want to put in. So the Wolverine comes standard for eight millimeter film. You can tell eight millimeter film has a hole that's just about the size of a pencil like that. It slides right on there. And this take up reel, it's right like that. Now, if you have super eight film, they supply you with this orange adapter. See how the super eight, the hole is much larger than the eight millimeter. It's almost like the size of a marker rather than a pencil. And that sits right in there like that. And you want to flip this to super eight and then you can use the regular take up reel. Sometimes you're going to have a bigger take up reel of super eight, like a 400 foot reel, which is the size of this. So if you had a big reel, you would have to add one of these guys. So they give you a gray adapter. So it takes up just like that. Perfect, right? We're gonna work with eight millimeter film. So I'm gonna put this back. So one thing I wanna show you the difference between super eight and eight millimeter you see the super eight, but the holes are very small. See how small those are? Oh. I call them super tiny for super eight. Now, if you look at regular eight, its holes are much larger, right? Oh. See if we can do a quick comparison. Okay, the regular eight is on my left, and the super eight is on my right. See the hole difference? So, super eight, super tiny. There's one thing. Typically always go by the hole. Here's a super eight reel, just like this is super eight. But when I opened it up and I looked, huh, it has regular eight film. Oh, really? So you keep it on regular eight, but now I'm going to have to use the red adapter to play this film to keep it on the reel, even though it is regular eight on a Super 8 reel. Okay, I have the regular eight loaded up. I'm gonna switch it over to regular eight right here, eight millimeter film. I'm gonna put it through the sled. These little metal plates are called press plates. What I like to do is load the film past the leader because the leader can always seem to get jammed. So the first thing I'm going to do is get it in the middle under the middle tab and hold it. And then I'm going to get it onto the left tab. I'm going to hold them with my fingers 
And now I'm going to put the film under the right tab and make sure it's pulled very nice. This goes under, you follow the path. You follow the path. Whoa! Like Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz. Follow the path, bring this up, load it on to the take-up reel. Give it a turn so it doesn't fall out. You see on the screen, my film is split. We're going to fix that. And that is by hitting the menu button, which is also the mode button. And we're going to go to the frame adjust. I got to the frame adjust by hitting the arrows. You can go up or down. Once I get to the frame adjust, I'm gonna hit enter. It's gonna pull the film. It looks like it's perfectly centered. The first thing I wanna do is hit my enter button to get to the W adjust. And the down arrow is going to zoom it out and the up arrow zooms it in. So I wanna make sure that the film is pretty much centered to the screen. So I see a little here and I see the black here. That's pretty, pretty good. See the end of the film on the left and the end of the film on the right. Now, if I go to my X, which is if you hit the enter button, you hit the down, it's gonna move the film to the right if you hit the up arrow, it will f move the film to the left. We want to basically center it the best we can. Now I hit my enter button and it's going to go to the Y adjust. The down arrow is going to move the film down. The up arrow will move the film up. And I want to center it the best I can. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit enter again. It's going to go back to my W. I'll hit the up arrow to zoom in. And I like to crop it like this on the TV. I'm hitting the W22. That's great, I like it. Now that I'm finished with the adjustments, I'm going to hit the menu button once. It'll take me out of that. I hit the menu button again. It's going to take me back to all of the different things I can do. Let's, you can change the language. I'm not gonna do that. Let's go to format. The format is if you're gonna use a brand new SD card or if you wanna erase your SD card, just hit yes, please wait. And it's been formatted. Now you see the more right here, if I go down, default settings, film type. The film type is positive or negative. I've never seen a negative film. I've always hit positive film. So I never mess with the film type. Really worry about the version, record, playback, rewind, exposure. I never mess with the exposure. I always leave it at zero because I want to correct the exposure in Final Cut, my editing software program. The same thing with sharpness. I don't want to mess with the medium and high. I think it makes it really grainy looking. I just keep it on low and that way I can adjust my sharpness in Final Cut. Record, you can start the record here or I'm going to show you a little bit of a different way to do it. And then when you're done with your film, you hit the rewind and we're gonna go through that process in a minute. So I'm gonna to go to my menu button, which is mode. Everything is set up, looking great. I have with me some dust off just in case I wanna clean anything off. There's a little speck there. Now I just hit my enter button twice. And away we go! And we are off and running. It is scanning it one frame at a time and this 50 foot reel is probably going to take about 20 minutes to go through the entire process nice okay we are now getting to the end of the film there we go hit the enter which is the stop it does say start and stop right on there 
Now that it is finished playing through, we're going to rewind the film. Oh, pretty please! Take your take-up reel, flip it, bring it over, put it right on, and take your original spool and put it on. You have to put it on so it fits. If you, it's like that. It'll lock into place and it'll turn. If you try doing it the other way, it, it won't do it. It won't do it. You have to line up the notches. Okay, close the panel, follow the dotted line now. The dotted line is the rewind line. Ooh! There we go, take it a couple turns. I'm gonna hit my mode menu button, hit the down arrow or up arrow, doesn't matter, and rewind twice. So that is it. That is the basic setup and operations of the Wolverine Pro. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, ring that bell for future notifications, and remember, sharing is caring. So please share this video with a friend or two. Have a wonderful day.